Hey yo, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use PSV Trophy is good. This is an application that I made that you have to edit trophy data files so you can choose what trophies are unlocked and what with what timestamps. You can also use it to change the owner of a trophy set so anyone can use it or just give it to your friends and they can sync it too. So yeah, let's get right into this. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to transfer two files to your PC, the comp folder and the decrypted data folder. Now I get the comp folder, it's pretty simple. Just open up Vita Shell. Go to UR0 user. Go to 0, zero not UR0, UR0 user, 0, zero trophy. And then the comp folder right here. You see this here? Yeah, take this, take, take that file, take this folder, and just copy it to somewhere, let's just put it here. Okay, now, the next thing you're gonna need is the data folder for your game. So you only forgot what your game's MP com ID is, which is that ID there. Um, same goes to the comp folder, you only forgot what um, think was, um, MPW ID is. So yeah, for your game is, the way you figure it out, by the way, is you just go into comp, and you see it all of them, you put the icon zero, and you can work out what game this from there pretty easily. So yeah, once you've found the appropriate game's data folder, you go on that and hit triangle, and you go to open decrypted. And once you're in there, you go over, drop title, you press square, you go drop trans, you press square, then you go copy, you move that, to here and you go paste. Right, once that's done, you want to transfer those files to your PC. So I'm going to go do that. Alright, so here on your PC, I'm actually going to go transfer these files back over using FTP. You can use USB if you want, I just prefer using FTP. So here I go, I'm just going to connect to my PSV though right now. And I'll go over to UR0 user. You are zero, zero, trophy. And now here I have these files, I copied over. Now I'm gonna make a folder called trophies, and I'm gonna actually create a data and a comp folder in here. So we need comp, and we're gonna have data. Okay, now inside the comp folder, I'm simply going to go drop this actual comp folder here. Then I'll take the name of this folder, like this. I'll make a new folder in my data folder with the same name. Now in here, I'm going to copy over drop trans and drop title. Okay. Now, you want to open up PSV Trophy is good. And when you open this, if you're opening it for the first time, you'll probably see no trophy sets here. But I've already, been mess I've already put a trophy set in, so I see a I see have mentioned up to near here, but it doesn't matter, I suppose it's the same either way. So, you just want to go import set, and we'll ask a piece for the comp folder and then the decrypted data folder. So, first thing you do is you go down to trophies, comp, and you select the one you want, which is that one, and then you go down to where you have your data folder, which for me is here. And if they're both correct, it should add it no problems. So here we have an LTS LT Sophie, Elkins of a Serious Book, and it has the MPW ID. So once we have that, we just go select trophy set. And we'll see here we can see all of the trophies. Now when it will have the trophy ID, then the trophy name, and then dash P, and then this part here is actually a grade. So that says P, so it's platinum, bronze, silver, gold. Etc. And L means it's locked. So, first thing we want to obviously do is we want the Platinum Trophy, don't we? So we have to unlock all. Now, it might yeah, it might freeze for a bit, but then you should see this. Now we see Nan next to us. What it means is that this is going to have an invalid timestamp when you put it back on the video, which is fine. We'll sync with that, but we can do better. We want a custom timestamp, don't we? We want say randomize all timestamps okay you know that's good i guess but what if we want to be time travelers and like set the date and time really far into the future we can do that 
so I'm going to do that right now, I'm saying to 9099, um, yeah, that should work, alright, there we go, and we want to say we started the trophy set, like, I don't know, way back in 2002, sure, alright, so once you've done whatever you want, alright, you can change the owner, remove the owner, or other stuff if you really want to, but don't need to, so once you've done what you want with the trophy set, you just want to go back and then select the trophy set you want and go export set. Now what you want to do is you want to actually remove the trophy set from here. And then once you do that, you simply just want to select where you want to export the trophies to. You click OK, and now you'll see export trophy set and the name of it to desktop slash trophies. So now in my trophy folder, you will see in here the new data folder, the new data folder, and the new comp folder. These are the modified ones. Um, so yeah, and we want to go back on the Vita. So we want to go file zero. We want to connect back to the Vita. All right, and we want to head over to UR zero and use the so trophy. And we basically just want to put these files back. So you see this comp folder. We can put this back on here, no problems. It's not encrypted at all, so it's fine. And with data folder, we want we're gonna to have to actually re-encrypt them. So we'll do that. We're gonna have to copy, copy them to the Vito, not in the data actual actual data folder. Just copy them to the Vito, and then we're going to go back. So now we're back in the Vito. This one I'll is the FTP connection and go over and select these two files. We transfer back. We want to copy them and then go into our data folder. So open the data folder for the game and go triangle open encrypted. Instead of copying these out this time though, we're going to press triangle and paste them. Once that's done, we'll see it will paste the two files. But if we open up the trophy app now, it actually won't show the new trophies. If we do that, we have to delete SCE trop. And we have to delete this DB folder. You don't have to delete these, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now that we have that, we can check our trophy app. Now I'm actually going to do this if, in, if the internet turns off, because I don't want to sync right away. I want to show you first. So if I do this, it will... Um, you look at the old trophies, it will say restoring trophy information. And then we will have this. Now, you'll notice, but wait, I unlocked all trophies. Why is it 0%? Well, it, the app doesn't actually up update the percentage, but if you open it, you'll see you have everything unlocked. So, and if you click on this, you'll see the actual timestamp you set. 11, 11, 2099. So, the question is, does this sync on your And the answer is yes. But my Wi Fi is not off. Let me just turn that back on. Sync it on your end. And I got an error. So if you look in here. Hey, we have a trophy set. I'm not quite sure what that error was about, but as you can see here, it actually did sync. So we got an error when trying to sync it, but it synced anyway. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Maybe it's because my Wi-Fi was turned off or something. But as you see here, it definitely did, definitely did sync it. So, you know, we now have the platinum unlocked at that time, 2099. It's on the PSN account now, so that's all good. Um, and if you see, if we check back here, this will actually update with the new times. So this will actually update the percentage now, but it's been synced. So that's all, really, for this video. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.